Hello. Welcome to another episode of Planet Insomnia Mystery Channel. In this episode we will look back at the rise and fall of one of the greatest boxers in the world. A champion who became a murderer. The rise and fall of Carlos Monzon world champion boxer becomes murderer. Violence against women in Latin America. Violence against women has been a persistent reality in Latin America and the Caribbean. Violence against women is rooted in socially constructed gender relations. The lack of knowledge, education and political will to address this issue has resulted in a region where violence is present at all stages of life, including within the family, intimate relationships, among peers, at work, school, and even in public places. The Pan American Health Organization, World Health Organization, PO slash WHO, conducted an overview study on VA that was published in 2011, with data from 17 countries across Latin America and the Caribbean. This report found that 68% of women in Latin America have experienced some form of violence over their lifetimes. In the past 30 years, awareness of this issue and laws protecting women from violence in Latin America have come to the forefront. The murder of Alicia Muñiz by boxing legend Carlos Monzón was a case that brought the issue of violence against women to the front pages and to the minds of people in Latin America. This awareness brought a demand for justice in this case, but also for reform in the laws to protect women. Nonetheless, even to this day, much remains to be done regarding violence against women, especially in Latin America. Carlos Monzón, Rise of a Legend Carlos Monzón, Perhaps the greatest Argentinian boxer rose from poverty to become a world champion boxer and a celebrity. A Netflix drama series, titled Monzone, A Knockout Blow, was made about his life. His story was one of triumph against all odds, and he was loved by his country. However, a life of alcoholism, excess and violence eventually took him down a dark path. In this episode of Planet Insomnia Mystery Channel, we will examine the meteoric rise and fall of Carlos Monzone, a world champion who became a murderer. Life Before Fame Carlos Roque Monzón was born on August 7, 1942 in the city of San Javier, Argentina. He had 12 siblings and was raised in extreme poverty. He dropped out of school when he was in the third grade, in order to work and help out his family. He was a shoeshine boy, a paper boy and milk deliverer. He often had fights with other kids and had natural boxing ability. As a teenager, he would sometimes train at a boxing club, though he had little support from the trainers. When he was 16, he met Zulema Encarnacion Torres, with whom he had his first son. Later, in 1962, he married Mercedes Beatriz Garcia, nicknamed Pelusa. They had three children and adopted one. Their marriage was a life of struggles with poverty and domestic violence. Carlos knew he had a violent nature raging within him and thought it'd be best to channel that rage in the boxing ring. He also saw boxing as his only option to escape poverty. Monzón's Boxing Career Monzón began his boxing career in 1959 and three years later, he had 73 wins and six losses. His amateur boxing career was long, but being such a prolific fighter, prepared him to become a successful pro boxer, and he was more than successful. He soon became one of Argentina's premier boxers and eventually he was fighting international fighters. On November 7, 1970, Monzón knocked out Nino Benvenuti in the 12th round and became world middleweight champion. Monzón successfully defended his title 14 times, against 11 opponents, before retiring in 1977. Whenever he fought, it was a national event in Argentina. Everything and everyone stopped to watch him fight on TV, or to listen to the fight on the radio. It can be said that life after boxing for Monzón, was the start of his eventual downfall. He was considered a national treasure and loved by all. Now that he had retired, his love for fame and attention did not wane and he had more time to pursue other interests including commercials and acting. While still boxing, he acted in a movie, titled La Mary, in 1974. During the filming of that movie, he met Susana Gimenez, who played his wife in the movie. The two began an affair while Monzon was still married to Mercedes Beatriz Garcia. During this time, it became no secret, that Monzon was violent off the ring also. Gimenez was often seen with bruises and when paparazzi would try and inquire about that, the two would sometimes take a beating. Around this time, Monzón divorced his wife and later Susana also left him. 1978 was a low point in his personal life and his drinking became worse. In 1979, 
he met Alicia Munoz, a model from Uruguay. On February 14, 1988, Alicia went to Mar del Plata, Argentina, where Monzon was staying, to look for her son and to demand money he owed her for support. That night they were seen together at a social gathering at the Hotel Provincial. No one seeing them at that event could have imagined the tragic events that would later take place that night. When the couple later returned to the house, the issue about money escalated into a violent fight. Monzon had already been drinking a lot that night, as was customary for him and his rage took control of him. Imagine the fists of the world champion, consider deadly weapons, against a defenseless woman. The beating she took must have been horrific. Yet, he did not stop, he then strangled her. She may have already been dead before being thrown off the balcony from the second floor of the house. Let's be reminded that during all of this, the couple's six-year-old son, was in the home. He probably was hearing the fight, from his room and too scared to see what was going on. The traumatic effect of this must have been horrible for such a young kid. Monzon was arrogantly hoping that he would escape justice because of his fame. He was arrested and charged with homicide. The nation of Argentina was split. Half of them still called him champion, half called him murderer. Throughout the whole investigation and subsequent trial, Monzon was always firm about his innocence. During this great scandal that gripped the attention of the nation, the issue of violence against women came to the forefront. In Latin America, domestic violence or wife beating to be specific, was always something that authorities handled as a private affair and unless there was extreme violence or death involved, little was done to help women. However, this case helped change that, as thousands cried out for justice and demanded that Monzon be punished for his crime. Despite his fame, Monzon was found guilty and the public seeking justice got what they wished for, partially at least. In 1989, Monzon was declared guilty of homicide and received an 11-year sentence. Not only was the sentence light, but Monzon for the most part was treated well in prison and was eventually given weekend furloughs. He would party with his friends during these weekends just like the old days. One of these weekend furloughs was the death of him, literally, as he died in a car crash when returning to prison after a weekend with friends. A friend of his, a passenger in the vehicle also died. Carlos Monzon died in a violent car crash after a life of violence in and out of the ring. His life was a life of triumph in the ring, and defeat in his personal life. After rising from poverty to become world champion, he never reached his potential as a father, husband and human being. He beat his opponents in the ring and the women closest to him and with that thought, we end this episode of Planet Insomnia Mystery Channel. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and until next time, try and get some sleep, if you can.